Hey, what's up my chemistry people? It is Mr. Boylan. Let's do a quick practice problem here with the mole concept. As you take a look at this problem, we are asked to determine the mass in grams of 3.00 mole of the element carbon. Now, as you take a look at your screen, I provided a sample reference of what one mole of carbon might be modeled to look like. Avogadro's number of particles, boom, right here. I've also labeled that one mole of carbon is approximately 12 grams. And if you're wondering where I got that number from, it's the periodic table, boom. Now, as you take a look at your notes, I provided you with a couple of pie charts to help you begin to understand how this concept works. Recognize that one mole of carbon or one mole of anything is gonna be Avogadro's number of things and in this case is gonna have a mass of approximately 12 grams. And that's gonna be true for every mole of carbon. Now in this case, we're told that we have three moles of the element carbon. So here we go. One mole, two moles, lucky number three moles. Now remember, each mole of carbon is approximately 12 grams. And I'm gonna shade in three of these little pie charts to indicate that I've got three moles of carbon. If each mole is 12 grams, then the mass of three moles of the element carbon is gonna be 36 grams. Now, I know I'm a genius, but how is that gonna work using dimensional analysis. I know, you've been waiting for this to come back. Again, with all dimensional analysis problems, you're gonna start with the amount that you're provided with in the problem, in this case, 3.00 moles. We're gonna multiply that by a conversion factor. I'm gonna put moles of carbon on the bottom so I get that unit to cancel out, and I'm gonna put grams of carbon on the top. Now, where do I get the relationship between grams and moles for an element? Boom, periodic table, molar mass. I'm gonna estimate here, which I encourage you to do. I'm gonna use one mole of carbon is approximately 12 grams. Therefore, three moles of carbon is approximately 36 grams. If I'm using my sig figs here, 36.0 grams of carbon. Remember, when we use conversion factors, we're not gonna include those when determining number of sig figs, as those conversion factors are considered infinitely precise. Also notice my units of moles cancel out. I'm left with units of grams. Final answer, boom. 